What's up guys welcome back to another video and in today's video we are going to be talking about uh, I noticed that the energy level like what's up guys welcome back to another video and automatically it's slowing down and uh, <laughs> let's leave it uh, in this video we're going to be talking about tabs guys uh, tabs are a pretty much common thing you will see across a lot of applications right uh, even in whatsapp you use tabs you see tabs on a daily basis and tabs are an excellent way to provide uh, different screens to the user uh, based on his choice by showing up small icons like a menu bar or something and it's also a great way to create screens independent of each other for the developer so that it becomes less of a headache when you want to provide uh, uh, multiple screens to the user so uh, all that is fine that's all tabs right how do you bring this inside your uh, flutter application that's the main concern here right let's see how to do that so uh, before we start with this, uh, ever since I started this, I, I just uploaded two videos on Flutter, right? I have been receiving a lot of mails and comments asking me whether I'm going to be just doing Flutter from here on and uh, going to be abandoning uh, Ionic framework or not. Uh, yeah, that's, I, I won't be abandoning Ionic at any time, guys. Uh, the reason is that I have been a fanboy of Ionic since 2014, I think. Uh, the reason why I am doing Flutter videos now is that uh, I started learning this uh, couple of months back and I feel it's really good. And also uh, the other thing is Ionic I am pretty much waiting for their uh, capacitor release guys. Ionic is planning to uh, bring out their own build system called capacitor which allows you which basically will convert all the code that you write into. Uh, native application so I'm waiting for that right now once uh, version comes out I'll start to make ionic videos as well and parallelly to that I'll make uh, flutter videos as well besides what's wrong in learning a new framework right and we are taking it from the very basic as well it's great to have a couple of tools both of them in your backpack right as a mobile developer uh, flutter for writing cool native applications that run across both uh, iOS and Android as well. So what's wrong in learning Flutter 2 in addition to Ionic? So, so that's why I decided to make uh, videos on Flutter as well and this I'll be continuing uh, in this channel as well. Anyway, that's uh, if I start ranting, see it's already 2-3 minutes. So let's uh, get into the application here. I have just created a new uh, application guys uh, and removed a lot of code obviously. Here we have nothing, we are just a uh, scaffold router, blank screen as usual. Uh, uh, usually tabs have two or three different views, right? So in order to represent those views, let's create two files now. I'll get into this slip directory and uh, create a first page dot dot and one more file. Uh, second page dot dot. Now I have two uh, pages which I'll be using for showing in two different tabs. Okay, on the same screen. Uh, first, I'll get into first page. Sorry, first page dot dot, and then inside this, I'll uh, import package package flutter mm, class not class state plus widget uh, first page page extent and inside this container I'll simply return a child child new center uh, child new text um, uh, first page uh, style new text style uh, text size oh sorry font size 25.0 and uh, color uh, colors dot purple something okay whatever color you want cool right let's just copy uh, from this I'll copy and then say the second page as well and here I'll simply paste it. The only difference is that here it's going to be second page. Okay. Now I have two pages. I'll simply go ahead and import these two in the uh, main dot dot file. So I'll do import this directory. So this directory 
first page dot dot as first page okay import second page dot dot as second page cool right now what i'll do is uh, go ahead go here inside this car fold uh, let's go ahead and bring in a tab bar okay on which we'll have a couple of icons and uh, whenever i tap try to tap on one of the icons it should automatically switch between those two views that's it so i'll type rather quickly uh, i'll introduce an app bar this we have done uh, a lot of times in our previous two videos app bar child it's not child title title uh, new text tabs app okay and uh, the next thing is uh, um mm, background color color stop teal and the next thing is uh, bottom uh, new tab bar and inside this we'll have the tabs tabs new tab uh, new icon icon new icon uh icon start uh, access salam okay and i'll give a comma here here it will be icon start uh, anything else access time uh, anything okay access time now we have uh, two icons which uh, we have two tabs not two icons and uh, both those tabs are represented by uh, different icons uh now what we'll do is uh, we need to extend something sorry with single uh ticker provider state mix in okay this we need to do and we also need to override a couple of methods i guess i think i forgot that first we'll have a tabs controller Sorry, tab controller controller uh, and uh, you need to override a couple of methods override uh, void init state uh, super dot init state and uh, you also need to assign controller equals new tab controller v sync this and uh, length will be two tabs cool what's this why is this way oh this is not capital and one more override you need to give override uh, uh void dispose this is for disposing the tab once it's removed from the tree uh, super dot dispose for that we need to dispose the controller controller dot dispose cool now that we have done all this let's run this app and see what happens guys oh sorry guys i didn't provide the controller here right what's the use of controller controller save this wow we now we get the tabs here right we have two tabs and uh, okay we didn't uh, give the color here we will give the color as teal oh, now you get the highlight as well right on which tab is selected here you can see that right now wait uh, we have these tabs oh these two icons are similar to any I mean, that's that doesn't matter we have these tabs now but why is this pages not the two pages are not getting changed accordingly right so that's because we didn't write code for that <laughs> let's go ahead and do that and uh, while we are doing that let's change this icon to something else error sheet ton of icons and okay we'll have this okay uh, uh, below the app bar this is the app bar right sorry below the app bar we'll do a body and this body once again will have the uh, tab bar view tab bar view and inside this uh, i should 
provide uh, both those as children what was those first page as first page right simply i'll instantiate those two new first page dot first page sorry and the new second page dot second page cool now if you try to run oh sorry once again the controller cool you can see this right i am tapping here the first page gets loaded i am tapping here oh, that's what we are returning where, where is that code see first page if i return something else something else you can see this right now our tabs work fine and the first uh, tab corresponds to first page dot dot the second tab you can also like swipe see and the second page corresponds to second page dot dot okay this is all fine now in some applications if you notice the tab bar will be at the bottom you might have seen that right uh, instead of the top it will be at the bottom so uh, what should we do in that case you might get a question like that right so let's see how to move this tab bar to the bottom as well in order to move the tab bar to the bottom get into main dot dot and then here you are doing the tab bar and all that right uh, yeah this is where it ends uh, after the app bar just give uh, bottom navigation bar and copy this exact thing new tab bar controller this is that right ah up to this tab bar cool right and then so just remove this now save this once again if everything goes fine you should see oh actually the tabs exist here the reason why it didn't uh, show up is that we didn't give the color so we, i think we don't i mean we won't be able to give the color since colors come under uh, material so we need to like extend the material here otherwise uh, not extend had this as a child that would be a better option right wait uh, i think i'm confusing you guys wait I'll, i'll show you do this as a material and this will be a uh sorry. you get it right and instead of uh, instead of tabs what you can do is child uh new tab bar now you understand what i have done here right i have simply uh, used material so that i could add a color it was not possible to add a color straight within the tab bar as you as you saw right now so uh, what i'm doing is i'm simply using material and uh, getting the color here uh, for the tab bar and then i'm inside the material class uh, as a child i'm passing this tab bar with these two tabs so now if i go to the emulator or the app you can obviously see that so yeah that's it guys this is how you bring in tabs you can bring any number of tabs that length you need to change and uh, make sure that you import all the tabs inside here and uh, the tab bar view in the same order as well and here you need to change the length to how much ever tabs you want this is how you bring in tabs in your application guys uh, you can swipe to change, switch tabs uh, and you can also do a lot of other cool stuff with tabs as well but this is just a basic demonstration of how to bring in tabs in your flutter application Uh so yeah that's it guys I uh, hope this video help you if you found this helpful kindly share it with someone and help them too if you like what i'm doing on this channel if you like this video hit the thumbs up button uh, go on straight away hit the thumbs up button there's nothing harm in that right uh if you 
like what i'm doing on this channel hit subscribe uh, yeah that's it i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye